This could be gold. I'm gonna swing around here and see if there's not a chain out here as well. I found the chain that that tough pendant went on. Now that just made my day. 14K, woohoo! <laughs> everybody it's early it's 10 after 5 in the morning I wanted to get a good early start I'm gonna try to hit three lakes this morning all before noon and uh, this is a good time of the year to get out there's a lot of people in the lake celebrating the 4th of July this is the day before the 4th and uh, so hopefully I'm gonna be on this lake this morning where it's been packed out you know 100 200 people a day or not more and, uh, and and if no one's been on here detecting, it's, it's, it should have a lot of stuff on it. Let's hope so. And uh, and then I'm going to move on to another lake and hit it for about an hour and a half. Move on to another lake and see what we can come up with today. So hopefully we're going to get on some good targets. And uh, when I do, I'm going to definitely show it to you. So I'm just kind of waiting on the sun to kind of get up to give me a little bit of light. Get in the lake and uh, get out there and start swinging. So I'll see you guys at the first find in the water. In the 83, 84, real. There we go, getting a 94, 95. Let's see what that's going to be. I know y'all can't see it on camera. It's just too dark out here right now. Something big and silver. Gonna be a track metal. It's not gonna be silver. But hey, first find of the day. I'll take that. Let's keep looking. The sun is coming up. Well, I got my first ring of the morning. It's uh, ringing up a 75. I thought I was digging a penny because I just dug a penny up just about two foot from this. But uh, hey, it's the. I figured there'd be more out here. There's a lot of targets out here, a lot of trash, a lot of coins, but just no jewelry. So it's kind of strange. Either someone cherry picked it out or there's just nothing here because uh, I, I, there's too many quarters and dimes that they had missed. And uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's a good find. It's a, it's a junker ring. It's just a heart. But uh, I, I shouldn't say it's a good find. It's, I guess, a good find because it's the only thing I found so far. But anyway, I'll take that. So I'm out. It's a little over waist deep water. So maybe, maybe there's some more out here. So let's keep swinging. Let's go a little bit deeper. And if we don't find anything else, we'll head out to the next lake. So let's keep going. <laughs> Well, I moved over here to the next lake and I uh, got out in the water and you can see by over my shoulder there, there's another man detecting here. He hasn't been here that long, but I uh, stopped and talked to him and uh, I a long time friend from all the clubs from years ago and he's been hunting for years and years and years. He's found a junk ring and just some clad and stuff like that. And uh, I came out here and stopped to talk with him. And when I was talking with him, I had an 85 signal. And so once he passed on, I scooped it up and check that out. It's going to be a silver ring. Yeah. It's going to be like a chain link. A big ring. 925 marked in it. So 
that's worth my time to stop out here, even though there was another detectorist out here. So let's uh, keep swinging, see what we can uh, come up with. I think this is a spinner ring. It's kind of spinning on me. So let's uh, let's keep swinging. Waist deep, chest deep water, I'm getting a 58. And it's a nice little, I think a gold uh, charm bracelet. That's going to be pretty nice. I have to look and see if I got any markings on it, but it uh, rang up like gold, 58. All right, that's two good finds out of here, so let's keep swinging. Maybe we'll find something else. Well, got me a 45 here, and uh, has the words "I love you" written in it. It's gonna be a stainless steel ring. Hey, that's a good find for the start of the morning. So let's keep going. Let's see what else could be out here. This is the day after uh, Independence Day, so hopefully we're gonna find some good stuff today. And uh, I'm the first one out here, so I ought to find something. All right, let's keep swinging. Gonna go jump a 58, 59, 58, 59. It's about wasted water. Let me see if I can scoop it. Yeah, let's just go down and see. I said 5859 and it's the tungsten carbide ring ring number two out here that's not too bad I haven't been out here but just a, a little bit all right let's uh, keep swinging Sun just came up and let's see what else we can get a real jumpy 50 60s Right, 
not too far away from that ring it's a nice stainless uh, not stainless but a, a silver silver chain it's been here a while it sounded real jumpy probably why no one's ever dug it because it's been in the water for at least a week or two because it's tarnished I don't really know how long it takes to tarnish chains do you I would think about a week or so before they get this gray anyway that's another good find let's uh, keep rolling on and uh, I got to get him work at 10 o'clock today so try to get in one more swim area after this so let's keep swinging <laughs> Here's another one. <clears throat> it's a good spot. It's ringing up. Uh, this is ringing up like a 50, 51, which is unusual for a tungsten. It's a tungsten carbide ring. So, but you never know the, the way the ground of the lake is. Sometimes it causes things. Who knows? But it says tungsten carbide right there. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we can get. This has been a good spot so far. I'm up here in chest deep water. My chest camera couldn't record what I found, but check what's in the scoop. It's an episode. Preacher Digger got his cross. All right, that's kind of a common one. Stainless steel with a little diamond chip in the middle of it. I've dug many of these. Yeah, it's got a marking right down there on the bottom. Hopefully it says 14K. That would be really awesome, wouldn't it? But I bet it's stainless steel. But uh, we'll check that out and let you know. All right, let's keep swinging. I've got one more swim area to go, and it's just now 7 o'clock, a little after 7. And i got a little bit more time to go, so let's see what we get. 46 to a 37, 37, 46, jumping all around. I actually hit this a while ago when I first got into this swim area, and I couldn't get it up because the bottom of this swim area is just really hard to, to scoop off of. It's uh, got a lot of shell on it. And I just passed it, so I went down and dug all this other stuff, and came back, and I said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one." Now, I just saw a glimmer. I don't even know what it is yet, so let's look in the scoop together. There it is. Let's see, what is that going to be? Oh gosh, this could be gold, folks. This could be gold. This could be gold. Check that out. I was ringing up like gold. It looks like gold. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a good look up on the. Uh... Yeah, 14K. 14K, folks. Look at that. All right, man. That's awesome right there. I'm going to swing around here and see if there's not a chain out here as well. Now, that just made my day. 14K. Woohoo. Let's keep swinging. You know, half the time that. I find a necklace part, the pendant part of a, of a necklace. I never find the chain. Very rarely do I find the chain. But check out what's in that scoop right there. I was getting, I don't even know a signal because the water's so murky I can't see my numbers. But that, I can tell you right now, is the gold chain that that uh, necklace was on. So let's see if we can't get us a, a marking there. Yeah, I think that's going to be 14K. All right, a gold chain. Check that out. I found the chain that that uh, pendant went on. Boy, this has been a good swim area. That's why it pays to get out early, be the first one on the water the day after uh, Independence Day because there's always a lot of stuff out here. So let's keep looking. Let's see what else we can get. I'm in very deep water out here and uh, kind of hard to scoop when you're kind of floating on your own tiptoes. But I got a 48-49 and thinking it's going to be a stainless steel ring, and, but it is a ring though. Uh, let's see if I can even see it. I can't even stand up to see it. Oh yeah, it's going to be stainless steel. I was hoping it's going to be gold or something like that, but it's gold colored, but it's not going to be gold. All right, another ring out of here, so let's keep swinging. 
and we'll move on to one more swim area then we'll head home and go to work well i made it in from the lakes today and boy was it hot i ended up going out a little bit uh, later in the day and oh i'm paying for it now i'll tell you what i'm so sunburned and hot and uh but uh so you just got to go when you can go and uh, but i had a good time i've found a lot of great stuff and uh, got it all laid out here on the tailgate and let me show you what i found in this video well here's all the trash you know it's a shame that uh, i dig this much trash out every video people just can't take it out they just have to drop it down in the ground and uh, so that's a good thing about metal detecting we kind of environmentally clean things up but uh, that's not everything i could have dug i could have dug way more and uh and so that's a shame Anyway, here's my good stuff. I did come across a cap floating in the water. A very good Under Armour. I'm going to wash that and wear that one. Uh, I got some goggles and a purple card and a dinosaur. Some glasses. And uh, here are my, my money. I got one, two, three, four, five dollars and quarters. Five, ten, fifteen, seventeen dimes. Five, ten, eleven pennies. And we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, I mean, nickels and 27 pennies. I got some type of uh, metallic bracelet. Looks doesn't look metallic, but it is. Uh, another little bracelet. A track metal. It's my second or third track metal I've dug out of the lakes before. Um, I dug a college championship track metal as well. Here's my earrings. Some type of little charm bracelet. Some studs. I did get a 925 uh, chain here, bracelet. I guess that's an ankle bracelet. I did get a 925, uh, about a 25 inch, 22 inch chain. And Preacher Digger did get his cross in this video. Yippee! I like digging the cross. It's an episode when I can do that. Here are the rings. I got two stainless steel rings. One I thought was gold, but it's not. Uh, two tungsten rings, one real pretty one and a lot of common. I did thought that was gold at first, but it's just a, a costume ring. And I did get one silver ring. It looks gold in the, in the on camera because of lake stain, but it's a 925 uh, rope spinner ring. Oh, and here is the find of the video. Look at that. That is a 14 karat gold chain. That is very nice. I like that. I found them about uh, four foot apart. And usually you don't find the, uh, the chain of the medallion, but I uh, found the two of them and put it back together. And what a great, great find there. Got some gold. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. As I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and find and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.